What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thanks for tuning in. So today, back to working on the new 7.3 project truck for the channel. Still don't have a name for it yet. Let me know if you guys have any uh, good inputs for me. But we're back to working on it. It is a beautiful day, which means I'm gonna be out here working in the driveway, which I am so happy to be doing this time of year. Uh, it's a long, long winter here in Oregon and I'm enjoying the sunshine a lot. So today we're gonna be working inside the truck. Uh, we got a problem in there with the clock spring in the steering wheel, or at least that's what I think it is. Uh, I have an airbag light. I don't have any horn on the steering wheel and the cruise control doesn't work either, which everything I've seen points me right in the direction of a bad clock spring inside the steering wheel. I've never done this repair on any of these trucks before, but I have taken the uh, steering wheel off before to replace on the old truck. So we're gonna see, I figure it can't be too hard, uh, but we will find out. Because I've never really done this before, this isn't really going to be a how-to video. Uh, we're just gonna get to work and see if we can get this replaced. And at the end, if it all works out good, uh, maybe I'll go through and give you guys some tips and stuff that I learned along the way. But for now, I'm just gonna take you guys along and we're gonna see if we can get this problem fixed. First step is I gotta disconnect these batteries so the airbag doesn't blow up in my face. Let's get to work. Alrighty guys, time for a quick update. As you can see, it is uh, pretty far disassembled at this point. Got the steering wheel off, got the top and bottom covers off. It's pretty easy. It was three screws on the bottom cover. To get the uh, lock cylinder out, you put the key into it. Put the key into it, and then there's this little ball detent on the bottom that you have to push up. So put the key in, rotate it to the run position, push that detent up, and then the lock cylinder slides out. Um, you got to remove your steering wheel adjuster knob here. It just screws out counterclockwise. Um, yeah, not a whole lot to say. We got the new clock spring right here. Um, I'm trying to figure out everything I need to do to get this one off and get the new one in its place. Um, so I'm not entirely sure on the process yet. We have a plug here that goes into the, or a sensor here that plugs into the ignition. Um, and then there's two other sensors or two other plugs right down. So you follow this wire here and then the other plugs are right here. So we're gonna be unplugging those as well. That's what these plugs are. Um, but yeah, so I need to do a little bit of research, make sure everything goes smoothly on this, and then we should be good to go. So I will catch you guys here in just a minute. Alrighty guys, we got the old clock spring off. It is held on, or at least mine was held on by three clips. One there, one there, and one there. So that's top, right side, and bottom. Then like I said, you got a plug that goes in there, and then you got two plugs that go into the bottom. 
what I did is I just peeled or pried off the little Christmas tree clips that hold it up into place. It was a, kind of a pain to do, but got those off. Um, the clips for each of these plugs is on, they're held in between each other like that. Uh, so you kind of need to get them off. And then the new clock spring has new clips that will pop into place. So um, I don't think you need to be too worried about damaging these, but obviously try not to do any damage to the plugs on the factory or truck side. So old clock spring is off. I'm going to make sure that everything on here uh, is on the new one. Um, one thing it does say is, at least on mine, see if you guys can uh, see that it's verified and it says remove that tag only when the column or only when the unit is on the column which it's got this little thing that runs through it so I'm not exactly sure I if I can get that on the column with that thing still in place but I think it's in order to try to keep the clock spring centered um, and these do look like they're also directional, so you want to have uh, one on the top side or the top side in the right orientation. I'm definitely not an expert on this, but I think I'm going to see if I can get the new one on. Wish me luck. It's just fired. Fire. Last update before it goes all back together. Uh, got everything plugged in and locked into place. It was pretty easy. Um, so what I was saying with that uh, tab here, uh, it did get in the way it did get into way to slide the clock spring all the way on. So I got it on the steering column. There's a flat side there and a flat side there matched on the um, clock spring itself. So I got it just started onto those and then I broke off that tab and I was able to slide it on the rest of the way. There's this yellow tab here. Kind of once I had it locked into place, uh, this yellow tab here uh, pulled up and out of there. And then I was able to rotate this so the clips lined up with where they're supposed to be. It was like a sixteenth of a turn, just just a little bit. So the clips lined up, pushed it all into place, and it uh, snapped right in just like it's supposed to. So got the sensor here on the ignition right there. I know it's kind of dark because of how bright it is behind, but there's a little protective cover over that metal uh, tab on the inside. So you pull that or peel that little cover off and it all went back together. Rerouted the wires back to where they were, plugged them in, snapped those up into place, and now we should be good to just put it all back together. So I'm gonna throw you guys back up on time lapse and then I will get it together and we're gonna give it a test to see if this fixed my issue. I'm really hoping it did. Alright guys, got it all back together and the batteries are hooked up. So now it is time to give it the first test. Good news is when I hooked up the batteries, the airbag didn't go off. So I got something at least right. All right, so like I said, uh, the horn didn't work, the cruise control didn't work, and when I had the key on, we had an airbag light on. So before we do key in, I think first test is the horn. Sweet. All righty, we got horn now. That's a good start. Let me grab the key. And we will see... And we will see if we got an airbag light. 
I'm still somewhat keeping my distance. All right, all the lights are on. As expected. And the airbag light just went off. It is no longer there. Beautiful. So that means we should have cruise control, which, which I believe on the early 99 trucks, the light won't actually come on when I turn it on, but... All right, so yeah, that's what I thought. So we... I will have to do a test drive to test that, but based on the fact that the airbag light is off and the horn worked... I'd say I think we are good to go, which is sweet, because I have a three, three and a half hour drive to make this weekend. And doing that kind of drive with hand controls gets pretty tiring on the arm. Uh, yeah, I'm pumped. This will make a very nice improvement. So there we go. I think it is all good to go. Like I, like I said, with this being an early 99, the cruise control dash light doesn't come on when you press the on button like it does on the later models, from my understanding. Um, so I'll have to test that while I'm driving. But based on the fact that the horn works and we no longer have an airbag light, um, I think we are probably safe to say that it is good to go, um, which I'm happy about because I have about a three, three and a half hour drive to make this next weekend. Um, and doing that on hand controls with nose cruise control is pretty tiring on the arm. Uh, so happy to have that replaced for sure. All in all, the job wasn't too bad. Um, it was definitely a lot deeper than I've ever been into one of these steering wheels or any steering column for that matter. Uh, but all in all, it maybe took me an hour, uh, hour and a half. Um, and that was me taking my time, making sure I go slow, especially around that clock spring, because I wanted to make sure it worked good. Uh, but I think we are good to go. Uh, so if you guys are having those symptoms, uh, airbag light on the dash, your horn doesn't work, your cruise control doesn't work, chances are it is your clock spring. Um, I don't remember what I paid for it. Uh, to get it from Ford, to get it from Ford, I think it was like 180 bucks. Uh, I will put a link down below to who I bought it from. I think their name was Clock Spring Experts. Um, I just found them off a of Google search, and I think I paid a little over 100 bucks for it. So pretty good savings all in all, um, and it went right in. So I will link that down below in case any of you guys need that. Um, yeah, I think that is kind of it for this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this truck. I am honestly really excited to be building this thing. Um, like I said in the intro video, I've been keeping my eye out for a good crew cab for a long time, and I honestly probably should have bought one a lot sooner, but we have it now. It looks sweet. It's a clean truck. It needs a little bit of work, which is great for the channel and great for you guys. I've never owned a 99, so it's going to be a little bit more of a learning experience for me, or an early 99. So more of a learning experience for me, which is always a good thing, and it'll help you guys out. Yeah, I'm hoping this truck will be around for a long time, which means we're going to do some fun building on it. Um, if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel and you're interested in watching this progress, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button down below. If you are subscribed and you don't get notifications for the uploads, they're in often enough that you guys may miss them that's my own fault uh, but if you're interested in it feel free to hit the notification bell next to it if you guys don't i totally understand i am one of those kind of guys as well um, but as always thank you guys for following along I'll catch you guys on the next one